I'm going to show you how to use the Festool guide rail in combination with the guide stop adapter to perform a variety of tasks using your OF1400 plunge router. Before we begin, always make sure you're wearing hearing and eye protection when operating power tools and always disconnect the power from your router before making any adjustments. I'll begin by adjusting the guide stop adapter to fit the rail. Each guide block has two set screws that reduce play and allow for smooth travel. This is a one-time adjustment. Before attaching the router, I wanted to show you two options for mounting the guide stop adapter. The first option attaches one of the guide blocks to a single rail extrusion and allows the micro-adjustment dial to precisely position the router. The second option reduces the functionality of the micro-adjust, but places both guide blocks on both rail extrusions for increased stability. This is my preferred way of working. After securing the bit, the router is ready to join the guide stop adapter and be placed on the rail. With the router in place, I'll lower the outrigger foot for additional support and set the plunge depth the final step is to add dust extraction. I've marked a line on the workpiece to specify the positioning of the rabbit. The outrigger foot will support the portion of the router that extends beyond the workpiece. I'll be cutting the rabbit in two passes, and after setting the plunge depth, we'll position the bit for the first cut. I can now connect dust extraction and power and complete the first pass. After the first pass, I'll reposition the bit for the final cut. Here's a look at the finished rabbit. I've gone ahead and marked the position and dimension of the data when I'll be cutting. I'll position the bit just shy of my pencil mark for the first cut. I'll reposition the bit for the second cut, again just shy of the pencil mark. A test fit will verify the precision of the dado. Stopped dados have a number of uses, and if plunged all the way through the material, can create a variety of notices. Limit stops attached to both ends of the rail will establish the start and stop position of each dado. A plunge cut will begin the dado. Although challenging to achieve using an edge guide or router table, Angled dados with a guide rail are simple. Using the MFT's protractor head, I'll establish the angle for the dados, place the workpiece, and begin routing.
getting ready for class this week, and I thought, what a great tip, because I was doing this this morning. Uh, we're building some drawer boxes, so I grabbed Chloe, Bill's on the camera, and what we're doing is we're going to talk about this. It comes with the Contouro accessory kit. It's the scraper. See this? And it comes in this <laughs> wonderful designer box. Oh, yeah. All right, so here's the tip on a scraper. When you're using it, don't use it like this. We have it for cleaning up residual uh, glue uh, that is left by the Contouro sometimes. Uh, also, I use it for scraping hardwoods. But when you get this drawer box stock, sometimes this is a little bit proud. So when you use it, I put my finger as a follower under here and I use it to cut. And you'll just see how that glue line just wisps away. We hope this, this helps. helps. The new one now that we've got is the, the square and the whole idea of the square, the rail will sit in there. This will seat either at the back or at the, um, at the front of the timber and it will give us a perfect 90 degree cut. So we can mount that directly onto, a, onto the rail, bring it back and we just clamp it up with that lever. and. Easy enough to pop that onto our material now and just do a freehand cut with a HK saw or a TS saw. Uh, we can also fit a clamping system into it. So if we pop that over, our clamp can go just in this area here. So where we have got thicker material, longer material, when we do line our line up a square mark, we can then we can just clamp that from from underneath to hold it hold it secure. Sometimes we want to work from the, the front of the material, so maybe this is our leading edge that we want to work off. So what we can do with that is we can loosen that and we can bring it all the way to the, to the front of the rail. Lock that up. We could put a clamp in that end as well, but what can make uh, good sense and an easy way to do is we can use a rapid clamp from this end and that way we're only working from, from one end. So that's where we clamp it up to the timber, we can do our cut and then release it. So our wrapper clamp will fit into, into there. We can push it all the way up. Leave it on there, we can find our mark, wherever our square cut's gotta be. Clamp it up, that'll hold everything square. And just to make, make it easy with a hose, we can use our, our deflector on the end. And then we can do our cut.